Out of box business process flow doesn't have a provision to capture the sub stages involved within a single stage. The sub business process flow control lets you to capture the sub stages with the fluid transition and it lets you to have a different styles like this where you can skip the stages and you can align it in a different direction like in vertical or in horizontal way and you can have a custom icons inside that. Exciting, isn't it? Well, technically, the it's a UI rich transition control just like this where you can perform some operations. It doesn't have any out of box features, business process flow features, but the workflows, plugins or any actions can be triggered on change of this since ultimately it overlays on an option set field. Without further ado, let's see how to configure this. For the demo, we have taken a typical use case where the prospect's activity needs to be tracked before promoting him to the next stage. Let's say within the qualify itself, we have four different sub stages where we are tracking whether the prospect has opened the email or not, whether the pro prospect has responded to the email or not, and whether the prospect has done some basic research in the website and he or she has shown a deeper interest of checking our products and checking your prices, etc. Without further ado, let's see how to configure this control. The whole business process flow runs on top of the option set. So if you want to change the stages or if you want to remove or add any changes, you can just go ahead and modify the business process flow. So you can modify the option set. Let's say if I want to remove one of the stages, I can just go here. This is the option set field where the business process flow is added as a custom control. And I can just go ahead and remove this field, let's say. And then I'll just save and close. And then I'm going to publish. And if you can. See the business process flow, the option, the second option that we had earlier responding to an email has been removed now. Let's see how to configure the different styles for this control. So right now we have five different styles for this, but I'll be adding more styles in the future. So let's say I'm going to, I'm going to set this to this particular style called linear basic customized. So if you want to do that, I can just go ahead and open the properties of this control. I'm going to copy the style name and go here. You can just enter the style and okay, save. Publish. It's taking a while. Do, do, do. Yep, we are good. Let's go ahead and refresh the screen. So you can see that the style has been changed. Thank you.